But the big story on Action News tonight is the raucous and risky start to 2024 as the new year began with an old but growing problem. This was the scene about 4 a.m. today inside a parking garage in Winfield Heights. One of several so-called car meetups, drivers carrying out loud and dangerous stunts as spectators stand just inches away. An hour later, another crowd gathered in South Philadelphia doing exactly the same and prompting a citywide police alert. Action News reporter John Paul joining us live in Winfield Heights tonight. John, we've been seeing a lot of these play out lately. Yeah, Brian, we have, and they leave their mark. I mean, in that garage that you just mentioned, take a look. You can see the skid marks all over the place. I mean, everywhere you look in here, you see the skid marks. There are also fireworks being set off inside this garage overnight. And this is just one of the spots where we saw those car meetups. What I saw was in the cars, and they were just like spinning out, just very enraged and angry. Witnesses describe the chaos that unfolded overnight all over Philadelphia. Squealing tires, revving engines, even fireworks inside this smoky Target parking garage in Winfield Heights on City Avenue to ring in the new year. The high powered cars barely missing pillars and people standing nearby. A lot of room for air with the pillars and stuff. The meetup prompted a citywide alert for a police response around four this morning. But it wasn't the only place in the city that saw these stunts. South Philadelphia, just outside of Citizens Bank Park, was another spot. Cars took over an intersection doing burnouts and donuts, some people even hanging out of the cars. In the daylight, you can see the mess left behind. Pieces of tire, fireworks, even this Target shopping cart. I saw the guys, they were spinning out. You know, they were very angry and mad because of the loss. Trisha Washington and her husband were in Philadelphia for the Eagles game. They witnessed some of the mayhem last night and think it was because of the loss. We've covered a number of these incidents all across the city in recent years. New legislation in Philadelphia is supposed to crack down on these events. It allows police to seize the vehicles. But witnesses tell us they didn't see police try to break any of this up, even though it went on for hours and spanned blocks. Philadelphia police tell me they did not make a single arrest in connection to any of this, something residents would like to see change. We got to start putting our foot down. All right, we're back out here live. Brian, I want to show you something. This is how close some of those cars got to the pillars in this parking garage. I mean, just a couple of feet. You see those tire marks there. There's no word on whether or not anyone was injured. Live in Winfield Heights, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Just so incredibly unsafe. John, thank you.